everything that has ever been can be or ever will be said is all stored in here a description of your future the cure to cancer your innermost secrets you've never told anyone i'm not even joking every possible combination of words you have or ever will say write or even think is in the library of babel and this is how it does that this online database is divided into pages and is built to locate on demand any 3200 character combination of english letters commas periods and spaces these are all stored in hexagon shaped rooms with four Four walls of books each, two of the walls being doorways. Each wall has five bookshelves of 32 books each with 410 pages in each book. Within these pages are every possible combination of letters ever imaginable, with a total of 10 to the 5,000 existing pages found in this library. That's a one with 5,000 zeros. In comparison, there are only 10 to the 80 atoms in the observable universe, so there literally isn't even enough matter in the entire universe to print these books if we wanted to. But how it stores this data digitally is pretty mind-blowing. So most letter combinations of the alphabet will produce nothing but gibberish, so that's pretty much all you'll see when browsing these volumes manually. But you can search any 3200 letter query yourself and find exactly what book and page number it would be found in. Your deepest, darkest secrets, the story of your birth, conversations you'll have with your mom a year from now, the answer to any question ever is all in here. I can search up Philip ate a pickle on the 7th of August and flew to Mars right after and boom. There it is. In the book titled, uh, that, on page 99. Seems impossible, right? Almost like this search function is just adding whatever string of letters you come up with on the spot and claiming that it was always there. But no, this is what's actually happening under the hood. Each page in every book is given its own unique page number. And the text of each page is algorithmically encoded inside of this page number. What that means is an algorithm uses the page number as a seed to generate an even bigger unique number in base 10. Which is just our normal way of counting using a combination of 10 digits 0 through 9. This big number is then converted into base 20. 29 to account for all 26 letters of the alphabet as well as commas, periods, and spaces. 29 unique characters. So instead of counting 0 through 9, 10 to 19, and so on, we now count using the alphabet and those three characters. This base 29 string is the text you see on each page in these books, meaning the same page number will always produce the same output every time. So the contents of every page are already determined beforehand. It just needs to be looked up. And the same works in reverse. The contents of each page can be converted to base 10, sent to the algorithm in reverse, and produce the page number that it's found on. Meaning you can find the permanent location of any 3200 character string of text, a journal entry of what you did yesterday, the exact description of your pet lizard, the full guest list of your future wedding, how to build technology that doesn't even exist yet, every article, every joke, every lie, everything you've ever said or even thought in private, absolutely anything that could be put into words, including everything that I've said since the beginning of this video, pickle, fish, paste, garb, bankle slats, is in the Library of Babel. So did I really write this script, or did I just uncover a string of words that already existed in this library? If you think about it, can you ever actually conceptualize a true original idea that is uniquely 100% your own if its description already exists in here? Or has every possibility of every idea, action, and course of events already been written down just waiting for us to discover it? Answers to every question, including the ones I just asked, can all be found in the Library of Babel. Search it up and you can even try it out yourself.